Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a great day thus far. And so of course in this video we'll be taking a look at the latest across sections of the Atlantic. And I will also be talking about the Saharan dust and how it could impact waves that are going to be emerging off Africa as we progress uh, throughout this month and then into the hurricane season. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so starting out with the satellite imagery, we can see that things are pretty much quiet across the Caribbean right now. Most of us are waking to some beautiful sunshine and uh, just some spots of activity over in parts of the Western Caribbean. And we also see that uh, development of all of that shower and thunderstorm activity over in the Pacific. So uh, there is quite a bit of activity going on over in the Eastern Pacific. And I mean, the Eastern Pacific hurricane season begins on May 15th. But uh, in terms of preseason development over in that basin, for the next couple of days, models are not really showing anything. But back to the Caribbean now. So there isn't much happening. Things are pretty much dry and quiet. Those dry conditions remain prevalent across the basin. And so uh, even looking down into parts of northeastern South America, there we can see some activity just in the northeastern portion of uh, Brazil, but to go into Guyana, French Guiana, and Suriname, we're not really seeing much taking place right now. And so uh, in terms of rainfall activity as we head throughout today, a uh, pretty good chance of rainfall across some areas in Central America and maybe just a, sh a stray shower or so at the most for parts of the North and Eastern Caribbean islands. But things are likely going to be pretty dry down in the Southeast, which is where we would have the Windward Islands and of course Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, the ABC Islands, uh, that region. So that's what's going on right now in terms of that. That. and uh, let's now go ahead and talk about the Saharan dust so and so uh, the Saharan air layer is basically when we have a large plume of uh, sand and dust material from the Sahara Desert in Africa making its way off the coast of the continent and of course the trade winds carry that dust across the tropical Atlantic and to the Caribbean and sometimes of course even the US so the Saharan dust is something that is considered an inhibiting factor when it comes on to development. And of course, we know that development starts from the stage of being a tropical wave, a disturbance. And so when we have a large quantity of Saharan dust, uh, coming from the coast of Africa, especially consistently when we have it consistently moving off in those large plumes, what happens is that it creates a drier environment. And uh, like what happened last year as well, because it was in so much of an abundance, it even resulted in some cooler sea surface temperatures. And you might be wondering how? Well, the dust would basically act as a shield to reflect sunlight. So uh, what that basically does is allow for many minimal penetration of the ocean surface and as a result cooler temperatures think of it as a pot of boiling water on the stove uh, if you turn off that burner what is going to be happening eventually we're going to have cooling of that water so that was somewhat the case for last year in terms of that plethora of saharan dust and it was so much that even in august there wasn't a single cyclone in august the first year that happened in a very very long time so uh We've seen the impact of these Saharan dust last year. And I mean, persons were expecting a lot of activity. Why? Because it was a La Nina season. However, uh, it failed to produce that expected activity, uh, which is actually something good because, I mean, things could have been a lot worse. And with the couple cyclones that developed, we saw some absolute devastation with some of them, such as uh, Fiona, Ian, and other storms that developed throughout the season. So the Saharan dust, it really helps to suppress activity and as I said earlier we're going to be having these tropical waves moving off Africa the first one for the season has not yet emerged but 
jobs will likely do so in the coming weeks. And sometimes what we even see is that those tropical waves are there, but there is no activity. So that is, again, the influence of unfavorable environmental conditions. And the Saharan dust is one of those factors, guys. So that is what could possibly happen as we're going to be heading into this hurricane season and the Saharan dust peaks around uh, as we're going to be headed into the middle of June going to August. So uh, next month, we can expect to see an increase in the quantity of concentration of dust out there in the Atlantic and moving into the Caribbean. And uh, of course, many of us see that in the form of the haziness uh, that it results in and again as of now there isn't much going on out there and so i'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by and that is pretty much it for right now and so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise